Now, a look at some of the more, I guess, anecdotal evidence, if you will, about, I guess, the strength or maybe the weakness in the labor market. Lyft and Twitter, among a number of companies out there, uh, making announcements about cutting staff. Bloomberg's Matt Boyle covering this for us right now. And Matt, let's go through some of the companies, and, and let's put Twitter to the side, because that's kind of a, a whole different dynamic. But we've heard from a lot of other companies, including Amazon, basically saying that if they're not cutting jobs, they're at the very least going to freeze hiring in certain areas. Yeah, there's a lot of this going on. Mm -hmm. There was a survey this week from PwC, which we reported on that showed eight, uh, eight out of 10 chief human resources officers are eliminating or reducing their workforce to a great extent in some way. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be layoffs. There's a lot of ways you can do it. Like attrition. You can, attrition, voluntary retirement. You could quietly eliminate job postings or you could freeze hiring at the corporate level like we've seen from Amazon and many other tech companies. So this is happening. Another way to do this is to do it uh, year-end performance reviews. Uh, Goldman Sachs, one of many yeah. companies Companies that said they were going to start to <laughs> get rid of people. They hadn't done this during COVID through performance reviews. We all have our year-end eval coming up, so this is another, yet another way that companies they, are doing this. This is why cut, I never show up for performance reviews. Every yeah, year they, they cut the target. bottom 10 percent and they cut <laughs> the fat, and that is their honestly brutal way of doing it. Yeah. Okay, so you talk about all those ways. We're getting drip feed and drip feed. Put it together for us. What are you hearing? Is it pulling job postings? Is it hiring free? Is, or is it layoffs? Well, what it's funny. I mean, the, I mean, the New York City transparency law is, is weighing right. into this as well, right? So we saw job postings magically disappear on Tuesday in New uh -huh. York City. Now, I, I think a lot of that was companies trying to figure out what are we going to post for this salary range. But could it be a stealth layoff? I think we've been seeing stealth layoffs since June. We've been writing about this since June. Even before the Labor Department job numbers really reflected that, everyone was telling us, oh my God, this job market is still amazing. But they are doing still sort of targeted stealth layoffs, hiring freezes, it's happening left, right, and center. Nobody wants the big headlines saying they laid off 14% of staff, like Lyft or Stripe or one of those, but it's happening, certainly. Uh, yeah. A lot of those highly skilled people can get new jobs, so. What about severance packages and things like that? Because, boy, were they pretty frothy back in the day as well. People getting big tech companies, six months pay if you yeah. leave. Have, are they dwindling significantly as well? I mean, it's going to be a, a sense of sort of where the company is, and I think every Everyone is battening down the hatches for 2023. So will severance packages are going to be one of many things that they're going to tighten up a bit, certainly. Now, if you are a C CEO, you're fine, I believe. There's always going to be a golden parachute for you or some lovely severance. But yes, for your rank and file worker, for your, you know, the middle okay, managers well. are really seeing the crux of this. Is, is a severance package for a middle manager going to be as good as it was before? Probably not.